so here we are at NUS Central Library where thousands of students and staff come in every day to study, to read books. Vigilant Gantry is a gantry that is vigilant against any febrile cases where people may have fever um, symptoms. And this is especially important in the current situation of COVID-19. Actually, when we went to the ground, we realised that there were two issues. First, you had two staff, two to three staff uh, at every single temperature station. 24-7. Manpower-wise, there was a big crunch. And secondly, they had another staff stationed 10 meters ahead to tell people to remove their headdress. And we realized that we could combine our expertise in video analytics to actually identify people who wear headdress and to actually use that as part of the checks. The software does two things. It checks if your skin is exposed, if there's sufficient skin for us to make an accurate uh, temperature assessment. And the second thing is that it checks the thermal camera to make that temperature assessment. And if these two checks pass, then it will send a signal to the gate to open the gate for you. So actually, if a user um, is completely covered up or a significant part of uh, his upper body is covered up, the thermal scanners will not be able to make an accurate um, estimation of the skin temperature. So in that situation, our system will actually not open the gate to the user. The user will be alerted to actually remove those headdress and then um, the gate will then open for them. And actually in our system, what we have taken into consideration is that in this situation, people may want to wear masks. So we have calibrated our system such that even if you wear a mask, as long as there's significant uh, skin on your forehead and your neck area, you can actually pass through the system safely. The throughput we are looking at is below three seconds of waiting time. This system is helping us to really reducing the manpower we used to have a very long queue because the staff itself have to help the student to take temperature and sometimes the handheld reader may not be able to read the temperature so you will have to do a few attempts. So with this smart system, we can actually uh, shorten the queue so that the user can go into the library faster.